what is up it is marissa nicole and welcome back to my channel it is the first tuesday of the month so y'all know what that means it is let's talk tuesday and you know we just get to hang out for a little bit this series is also kind of centered around like a chit chat get unready with me instead of a get ready with me so usually at the end of the day i you know wind down get unready and chat with y'all in a more relaxed manner and this is literally my favorite time of the month because i can just chill with y'all and i absolutely love it we've been talking a lot about my sorority lately so today i wanted to talk more about relationships specifically kind of like the pros and cons of dating or having a boyfriend and or a girlfriend in college i'm in my letters because we just got back from an soe which is like a standard of excellence thing we went to a workshop for a diversity thing with all of my sisters and that was super fun we just got back it is 9 20 and it's time to unwind and get unready so i'm actually going to i need to repaint my nails today because look at these they're disgusting so i need to repaint my nails today that's what we're gonna do as we get ready first of all can we talk about how Last week, I needed fingernail polish remover to paint my nails, okay? Well, me and my roommate went to Target to go get some, and this was like $4, you know, normal, whatever. And we only went there for that. I left spending at least $80. Why does that always happen when you go to Target? I'm actually, I'm going to take this pink off because I need to repaint it, but I'm just going to paint it pink again, so. Ooh, also at my diversity thing today, I want a water bottle. Look at this bright pink water bottle. Comment y'all's favorite color down below. <laughs> Mine's pink. So I guess to like start us off with this discussion of like, I feel like I need to get comfier here. To start us off with our discussion, I guess I should just talk about like the stigmas and the stereotypes of like dating in college, I guess. Um, a lot of people have trouble dating in college because they feel like when you're in college, you're supposed to be this social butterfly that goes out and parties all the time. You're supposed to have your like homester when you're just hooking up with people and doing crazy things. And that's literally not what college is all about. That's not what you have to be all about. And you don't have to do that. Of course you can, it's your prerogative. And you know, I support whatever you choose to do with yourself and your body, but like, don't feel like that's something that you have to partake in when you go to college, if that's something that you're worried about. Um, but I'm just letting you know that that is like a stereotype in general. So a lot of people will have a high school sweetheart, you know, someone that they're dating in high school, go off to college and right before they leave, you know they always break up or they're fighting a lot because in general they think that once that person goes off to college stuff is going to be different and you know someone's gonna cheat on someone you're gonna find somebody new and that very well finding someone new very well might happen hopefully you're not cheating on anybody period because that's mean that doesn't always happen and if you're willing to make either a long distance relationship work or a college relationship work it can happen it just has to take both of you wanting it to happen sorry I look really rough today guys I feel like I need to take these off nope 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 <laughs> We got them off now we can repaint them pink again <laughs> i guess the other thing is like especially with me i'm gonna talk about my kind of experiences a little bit when i first came to college i chose a college that was like far away from home and my boyfriend at the time my ex now just thought that you know i was gonna go off to college and be this hoe and be this girl that was gonna cheat on him all the time or hook up with guys or leave him and i was just shocked because like that's just not me and again if that is you and that's totally fine and that's how you want to like live your college life by all means i am that is all you and that is awesome for you you to do that's just not me and that's not what I wanted to do when I was like leaving for college so I was kind of like wow why would you even think that I would do that but they thought that so whatever my cons regarding this are only going to be about like certain kinds of boyfriends or certain kinds of relationships that you should avoid I don't want to just sit here and say like con don't date men because men are trash because wow that's true it might not be for everybody <laughs> so basically like my first con I guess I would say is just that dating while you're in college can be stressful if you are wanting to be a part of that party scene or that homester or just that social butterfly kind of aspect of college just because it might cause problems within your relationship and it's not that you want those problems to occur it's just that there's going to be insecurities there's going to be times where your significant other is just going to be like I, I don't know if i want you to go to this party like i'm scared of you going to this party yada 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 like whatever that may be about it can just cause problems without obviously you wanting it to cause problems i guess another con would be basically that at least with my experiences again with these like insecurities that are going on it's hard to have a boyfriend when you're in college because I didn't like to answer to people um, I don't want to explain myself to people or justify what I'm doing that's just kind of the person that I am when I'm in a relationship I trust you wholeheartedly so I assume that you should trust me wholeheartedly in that aspect I'm not gonna be with you if I don't trust you period so I didn't like having to you know explain why I wanted to hang out with my friends one night instead of my boyfriend at the time I didn't want to be like well I want to go out like I want to go to like a little party or something like that and maybe like well, why? Why would you want to go to a party? You're 
you have a boyfriend like those things don't even correlate at all but that's fine and that was just something that I didn't like to like deal with or handle like obviously a con that does happen with you going away to college could just be the simple fact that like you're in college which means you guys aren't gonna see each other as much as you normally do that's something that I had to get used to like my freshman year when my ex and I were still together like we went to the same high school and so we saw each other literally every day so when I went away to college you know it's different seeing them every day and then not seeing them at all or even when I do get to see them it's only for a couple hours because I have something to study for something to do for my student orgs you know what I mean like it's you're not gonna have as much time to actually date unless you actually make that time um, and again that's something that you're gonna want to you have to want to do that for it to work but just know that you're not gonna be as free as you were in high school to date the way that maybe you did in high school I don't know how y'all date but I still some is okay another con <laughs> about dating in college is just in general the drama that comes with dating you know when you're living in a dorm room or you're friends with a whole bunch of girls and you go to some party and you all see the same boy and then you're like oh my god I like him and they're like well oh my god I like him too and then you start seeing him and they don't like you're gonna cause some problems in with your girlfriends and you know the whole nature of boys you know boys ruin everything and not that it's the fact that like boys ruin everything but it's like boys cause problems with everything because girls are crazy you get what I'm saying you picking up what I'm putting down coat number one is done look at that look at that mm -hmm. Another con about dating in college is it kind of depends on if you're already dating someone and go to college or if you're trying to find someone to date while you're in college. There's a huge difference, okay? Because if you're already dating someone from high school, you have that history, you have something to be like working for, um, which is gonna be easier for you to maintain, you would think. But if you're trying to find someone to date in college, especially like in your class and especially your freshman year, you're gonna have a hard time, honey, because stereotypically people their freshman year are not looking to date and i'm saying people i'm not even just saying men i'm saying girls and guys aren't really looking to date or to settle down or to commit to anybody because again of that stereotypical stigma of the party go to like hook up lifestyle of college what also sucks another con would be that people move you know if you're just an undergrad like i'm at ohio state a lot of people might go to grad school here at ohio state but some of them might not so if i find someone that i like really like and i want to be with they might not be here in a year or two second coat oh, we got pink nails i have this like quick dry stuff that i like to drip on my nails because it's supposedly supposed to dry my nails faster we'll see i'm gonna move you over here so we can sit down while my nails dry hello you always walk in when i'm filming i'm sorry <laughs> you want to sit in on my video what's your video we're talking about the pros and cons of dating in college anyways <laughs> this is like my Take three. <laughs> Going back to what I was saying, we're talking about the pros of dating in college. Are there any, Tino? No. No. <laughs> Ending the video here. Bad, Bye. Bye. JK. Talk Tuesday, done. Let's talk Tuesday. I'm never doing this again. Okay. Pro number one you don't have to buy your own drinks. <laughs> JK. Pro number one you don't have to buy your own meals. There we go. Pro number one you don't have to buy your own meals. And even that is like a JK too because you know I'm all for you know empowering women and women should be buying men's stuff just as much as men are buying women's stuff. You know all that good stuff it shouldn't just be like a man's job to like bring in the money. You know women you should be handling yourselves. Hmm. If you are dating someone, you go on a lot more dates, you know, you go out to dinners, if you're going out to bars and stuff like that, usually a guy will buy you a drink. Um, you can also buy the guy a drink, like that's totally fine, but it's also just someone that you have to hang out with, and that's obviously a pro. Basically, if you're dating someone, usually they're always there for you whenever you need them, even if they're not physically there, but it's always good to have kind of that support system to talk to, you know, when you're stressed or when you're going through something, you know that I can text my boyfriend and be like, oh my god, I'm so upset today, and I'll be like, oh my god, it's okay, baby, and everything's fine. To go along with, you know, just having someone there in general, you do always have someone to go out with. So, I mean, like a lot of people I see, like because of this hookup culture of college a lot of people are like why would you ever want a boyfriend like who would you dance with that would you go out why you couldn't go out if you have a boyfriend yes you can you just bring them with you and that just makes it even more fun like why would you want to dance on creepy old men who are gonna grab your butt and try to steal your phone which happened to me when you can actually just bring someone that you like and you're dancing with them you're having a good time with them it's more personable it's more fun so and just in general if you have that for you it's fun <laughs> It's a good time. It's a good time. <laughs> but back to the story time. We were at a bar the other day, a bar club, and I was just, you know, dancing with my, my sisters and stuff. We're just having fun. And then this guy tries to, like, go behind me because obviously it's crammed. So guys will always, like, try to scooch behind you, and they use that as an excuse to, like, dance with you. Well, this guy tried to scoot behind me, and then I feel something on my butt, and I turn around, and he's, like, slipping my phone out of my back pocket, y'all, and tried to, like, take off with it. And so I had to grab his arm and pull him back. And when I did that, he threw my phone on the floor to, like, get rid of it and to, like, cover it up that he didn't try to steal it, even though I know he 
he stole it like I literally watched you do it and so he was like what what but I, I yelled at him you know I might have said some vulgar things but in general I like pushed him away and I was really upset because he literally tried to steal my phone and that that literally happened so like since then we went out to the bar like the next weekend and I wore a little fanny pack and I shoved it in there because you don't trust things in your back pockets girls men are trash this next pro is the funny pro is that you will get an influx of hoodies and t-shirts <laughs> This one really isn't like, it's true, but it's like not a pro that you should be like, oh, I'm definitely getting a boyfriend because I need more t-shirts. There another reason to get a boyfriend? There really isn't. I only want a boyfriend for t-shirts. Pro number three, I don't know, are we on three or four? I really don't understand. Pro whatever is that you always have a study buddy. But if you're dating someone that's in college with you or just in college in general, you always have a study buddy because they're also in college classes. So if you're studying for something, you can almost guarantee that they need to be studying for something so y'all can hang out together at the library or at the house or something and study with them. They'll be able to flashcard you, quiz you, anything like that. And you'll just be able to kind of hold each other accountable and motivate each other to study. Like I said, you always have like kind of your study buddy. If you have a boyfriend or a significant other of any kind, you always just have that emotional support system. Like I said, you always have someone there for you when you're really upset or you just want to talk to them. But also they're just there to emotionally support you, period. I was busy thinking about boys. Too. Boys. <laughs> the premise of this video though was the pros and cons of dating in college and I'm hoping that you kind of got the gist in the fact that like it all depends on who's in the relationship and if y'all are willing to make the relationship work no matter if it's a long distance a short distance if it's someone that you've been dating since high school if it's someone that you just met in college all of these pros and cons are definitely subjective things that I've either gone through or things that like I can see happening so it's definitely up to you on how that works take these all with a grain of salt but if something else has happened to you or you have any other pros and cons of dating in college please comment them down below that way more people can get some you know information on whether or not they want to get a boo in college. <laughs> this is this the thing that you do? Yeah, Ooh. that's the thing that you do. <laughs> what are they? Well, what are they? They're petite French madelines. What's a madeline? I don't know. It's a little cookie thing. Whoa, it's fluffy. I thought it was gonna be like a cracker. It's like a cake. Be sure to comment down below what y'all want me to talk about next month because again, like I said, I do this every first Tuesday of the month. Sometimes I take what y'all want me to talk about, other times I just talk about what's on my mind. Um, and this is stuff that's been going on in my life recently, so I just thought I'd talk about, you know, pros and cons of dating in college. What's going on in your life lately? It is what's going on in my life, Tino. If you're new to my channel or you're new to this series, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun on this channel other than Let's Talk Tuesdays. I post a lot about my sorority, my time in college, we vlog a lot, we just have a whole bunch of fun. So if you're new, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next month. Bye.